All right, guys, welcome to Talk Online, the world's most exciting platform for you to waste your time on infinitely scrolling through random shit people have posted on the internet. Actually, we really intend to add a little bit of ownership here, so what the intention here is that obviously you can create a post, but this is a pretty open little uh, bit of things. And uh, so while the blockchain can't store data like Reddit can or Twitter can or Facebook can, or Instagram can, or TikTok can. What we can do is allow you a bill of rights, of permissions. Uh, All right, so, it's Sunday. The blood of the Lord. All right, so, create a post. Obviously, you can put a link in here and boom, Look at what I did. I just put up Goth Babe's new bio luminescence official visualizer and this image. And wow, you can put in any kind of data, even games, other websites, and NFT, you know, obviously applications, right? But also, what about a token, you know? What, what, are, we, what are we doing with the token? Well, introducing the Talk Online contract, REMC, incentive, blockchain, rewards, structure, system, organization, moderation, platform. And so, uh, as you can see, uh, the contract kind of destroys uh, itself. Actually, I, I still haven't finished the rebrand from NeighborNet. But uh, that name was already taken, so I came down with the domain talk.online. I think it's pretty catchy. And uh, so we got an, uh, the token's name is Talk an ERC-20 token, and it's a membership token. And uh, just full disclosure, right out the gate, uh, I start out with 100 million of them, and nobody else has any of them, all right? And so, uh, and I created this, right? So I created this, and uh, so I'm allowed to do whatever I want, right? So really, at the end of the day, this is for me, right? I want a good internet feed that I can just scroll through indefinitely, right? And the all those companies that I listed earlier have failed to provide that service and I am creating this out of frustration because I just want some eh, mindless that's like why why is that so hard to find these days where I can find engaging people and potentially even meet people and own content and there's continuity between the things that different do online and guess what this is just one interface so since Ethereum is an open protocol, there's a lot of different ways you can interact with the contract that I'm about to show you. This is just one way to interact in a way that can benefit people. Specifically me, because I just want to have scroll through stuff and guess what if I don't like something I want to be able to tell it right so the thing I don't like about Twitter is that there's no downvote button it used to be make sense that there was no downvote button on Twitter because you only saw people that you followed so if you didn't like a post that was your fault but on like a you know TikTok or Reddit or something where it's just random people these target audience for this is just people on the internet which includes me right so if I like something, I obviously want to upvote it. However, I might want to actually add some kind of discussion to it, but also I might want to add some kind of filter or add something to a community or reference something. So, uh, so you might need a, a qualitative tag as opposed to a quantitative tag of an up or dislike amount. And I'll get to the economics of each of these later, but then also you want to be able to reply to a post as well. You want to be able to say, hey, I like this. I appreciate you doing this. And someone sees that and they're like, oh, great. But also, you know, various other purposes of content, such as even uh, other purposes of content, just as like, you know, being like a, a you know, uh, helping someone out on a forum, like, oh, can you help me uh, write this uh, contract, you know, this thing, or uh, can you tell me more about this, or I have this illness, how do I ch help myself, yeah, I'm in this situation, I need help, you know, just people helping each other out, right, you don't, there's a lot of reasons you can reply to somebody on the internet, now, quantitative versus qualitative tags, dislike, or excuse me, like, dislike, and 
qualitative, right? So that might be, oh, this is relevant to this form, or this is relevant to this cause. Um, but then if you just, you know, like and dislike, it's kind of a separate thing. And so the interesting economics of the like and dislike is that uh, it's unlike Reddit, where you, everybody has one upvote or one downvote. I have a hundred, remember, I have a hundred million of the tokens. So I sell the tokens to people, and that allows them to influence what they see. All right. So if I that that basically allows me to run a, a content farm, I, I have a group of people who are submitting content and then uh, amongst each other rating it. And I am a part of that community. Right. Because that's that's the same thing I'm doing. I want to have a good feed. Right. All right. So I just happen to because I, I created it. I, I made all this. I was like, all right, I don't I'm willing to give, uh, you know, if somebody's helping me out, right, I can just transfer the tokens, right? So, but starting out with 100 million, for me, this is what I, and obviously I would just sell them, right? Obviously it's for sale, right? It's, it didn't, didn't cost me that much to deploy. Anyway, back to the code. So, we got an ERC20 token, and uh, one issue with the economics is, that, and this is the reason you can't just deploy this on the base Ethereum uh, network is because if the base Ethereum network doesn't have an automatic lock built in, and so, but this token does. And so you, the reason you need that is because you don't want, if you're the, you have, if you own 100 tokens, that means you have 100 upvotes, right? And you can just up, since you can upvote up uh, any amount of posts, right? Because some people might be professional curators and they go through and they, uh, they like something, they like thousands of posts. And then maybe, maybe somebody just wants to have a pay, that person, they just want to see what that person liked, right? And so they just say, oh, well, what post did he, he upvote? And that was worth 100, you know, uh, 100 upvotes each. Right? You wouldn't want somebody to be able to transfer tokens to a new account and then uh, upvote that post again because then they would have 200 upvotes from 100 worth of purchased upvotes. Right? So there's a timer of 24 hours for uh, you, after you vote, you can't transfer that amount of tokens that you upvoted for. All right? Now, that's 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 the token. That's the entire token contract. Boom. We got two more contracts. We got the NFT contract and we have the forum contract. So the NFT contract is something that allows people to have uh, create create something new with the talk token. They pay. They uh, can trade talk tokens for the uh, for the for this token, right? They can buy these tokens. They can mint these tokens with the talk token. All right. So uh, what this allows is just content creators. So there's a lot of reasons you might want to raise money online. Um, you've got bounties for uh, for code, obviously, uh, or even for like you know Fiverr or Skillshare type things. Um, you've got just I just want to tip this uh, creator. Uh, there's uh, social causes that you want to donate to and potentially create a DAO to. Uh, manage the funds of, and um, then there's also uh, paid messaging. So there's the, already exists on Twitch and YouTube or whatever where they have super chats, um, and so there's lots of use cases where you might want to pay someone who owns the NFT, but then you might want to be able to trade the rights to uh, whatever that content field is. So right, if you're uh, this NFT might you know have some kind of revenue based off of uh, people referencing you in online discussion, right? And so y if, you're, uh, if you're the owner of the NFT, right now it's uh, a bit of an autocracy, but you could imagine there to be uh, an NFT of uh, automatically owned by a collective, especially if you were starting for a DAO. So if you wanted to, uh, for instance, participate in a DAO, but then uh, you wanted your ideas to be taken more seriously, well, then maybe you could donate money. So let's say, let's say you were like, oh, I think uh, this character should be purple, or this person's hat should be purple, or I think it should be green. Let's say that's a decision you have to make about a character in a video game. The person who invests 20 in is going to get 
they're they're going to get a green hat and the person who was purple hat but didn't want to invest in anything well they they don't get what they want right and then if that character gets sold for a profit like that char- that becomes a metaphor's character or something anyway that would be uh how would you would determine uh, ownership and share and uh who gets any kind of revenue from any surplus outside uh beneficial conversation that comes from just efficient online discussion and effective online discussion and thoughtful online discussion. Because the thing is, this disincentivizes spam. It disincentivizes uh, wasteful content. It disincentivizes, you know, even like uh, saying a lot because you don't want to pay gas fees, right? Ethereum gas fees are high. So that explains the second contract. Lastly, we have the third contract, which is the forum. And so uh, we have a post. A, a, a forum is just basically a collection of posts. And uh, so what is a post? Well, uh, you have an author, you have a content, and then you have the tags associated with it. It has up to, upvotes and downvotes, and uh, it also uh, has, has a score total. So uh, while this is a bit redundant right here, it allows for easy data retrieval. Um, so... That's why that's like that. But this is the total amount of likes and this is the amount of dislikes. So there used to be just, you can't uh, have a uh, negative number in solidity. So that's why you have to have a number of dislikes, number of likes. Anyway, uh, now, so then, yeah, you, you, uh, you know, create, you instantiate the uh, two contracts previously mentioned. And uh, then you allow users to create posts, to tag posts, to remove upvotes, to downvotes posts, to upvote posts, to uh, downvote posts, and then create posts with a tag, right? So you might want to just create a post saying, oh, yeah, I, this tag is, I, this is for this form originally. Um, and, or it's like, oh, I'm officially saying that this is my thing. Or, then obviously you want to be able to delete posts. Uh, we need to actually have a uh, feature for editing posts. So one thing that uh, distinguishes a tag from a post is that a post is uh, editable, whereas a tag is not, right? So you meant a tag and it's like, that tag is literally just be a GIF. And so one thing that you could do is right here, this could be a GIF instead of this, like, subreddit. Anyway, so you might have a link to a subreddit that it might be named. It might be a, a link to a person. Uh, it might be a link to this person's YouTube account. It might, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, this is all just getters to get information about the post. So that explains the online contract. Uh, hopefully this explains something, hopefully it made sense.